How's it going everyone? Uh, in this quick video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install a hard drive into the Synology DS118 NAS uh, disk station. Uh, so the particular drive I'm going to be installing is the Western Digital Red Pro 4 terabyte. Now the same process of course would correspond to other capacity drives as well, uh, but it has to be a three and a half inch hard drive uh, to be able to slot into here. Uh, two and a half inch drives will not fit unless you purchase a separate adapter, uh, which does not come with the device itself, unfortunately. So to get started, so firstly what you're gonna wanna do is slot off the top cover of the unit. And there are two screws to take off. You have one at the top here above the fan and one down towards the bottom underneath the connectors. And once you take those off, just slide the case forward and lift up and you will now be able to access the internals of the NAS. And basically it's really simple from here. All you have to do is grab your drive, set it down carefully in there, and you wanna line up the connectors on the unit to the connectors on the hard drive. And you can see you have your connector right here. So you wanna carefully lay that in there and then slide it forward until you hear it slot into place like so. So we are now connected. And then what you're gonna wanna do is then, you're gonna have five screws you're gonna want to screw in. So you have three on this side. And then you have two more on this side. Now you do have a sixth hole right here, but this one is not used in this particular device. So then once you've got your five screws uh, screwed into the actual drive to secure it in place. All you have to do is just grab your top case again, line it up, make sure it's kind of lined up perfectly there so it doesn't kind of go on crooked, and then just push it back, and then there you go. And then just re-screw in those two little black screws, and you're good to go. Now this, again, is the process for specifically for the DS118. Now, the process may slightly differ if you have a different version of the NAS. And this is specifically corresponding to units that are not hot swappable. That's basically it though for this video and I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just drop those down below and I'll try to help you guys out the best as I possibly can. And again, hit that subscribe button. That is also very greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel greatly. And hit the like button as well. Uh, that just lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. Again, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.